Hello everybody, my name is John Munno. I am the owner and lead photographer for John Munno Weddings, a wedding photography studio in Southbury, Connecticut, servicing all of Connecticut with wonderful weddings, beautiful work, and fantastic services. I've been in the industry for over 10 years shooting weddings. I've shot hundreds and hundreds of weddings, and so there's a lot that I know about weddings, which I'm going to share with you today. So today is uh, it's February, it's toward the end of February, and February is one of the busiest booking months of the year. So two things are happening in February. Number one is couples that are getting married this year and have not hired a, a photographer, all of a sudden the bells are ringing, they're going to bridal shows, they're looking for their photographer for this year. And the other thing that's happening is couples that booked their photographer last year for this year, they kind of just relax a little bit until the new year hits and all of a sudden they wake up one day and go, ah, I'm getting married in three months. <laughs> I better get going and do something. Um, so that's the other thing that happens. So either way, it relates to you. So all the couples that are planning their wedding, it's a big job. I help all my couples with their planning and lay out everything for them. So I'm going to give you the special tip of the day. And the tip of today is beware of the time suck. Beware of the time suck. And I see this with couples over and over and over again, that they fall into the big pit, which I call the time suck. And it affects their wedding tremendously. So I don't want you to be one of those couples to fall into the time suck. So the question is, what, John, are you talking about? What is the time suck? So the time suck is the half an hour of period before the ceremony begins. So let's say you arrive at a venue and the venue often will say, you can come to the venue an hour before the ceremony begins. And you think, wow, we have an hour of time. We can do a first look, we can do portraits, we can do getting ready shots, we can do all these things because we have an hour of time. I have to break the news to you. You don't have an hour of time. And you say, why, John, we have an hour? Let me explain. So let's say your ceremony begins at 4 p.m. Now what happens is your guests start arriving at 3.30. Yes, and some are gonna arrive even sooner. <laughs> no, go away, you want to tell them. Why are you here so early? But it's something about people don't want to be late for ceremonies. So your guests are going to start arriving at 3.30. And what happens is the event coordinator or the day coordinator, whoever's working with you, is going to hide you and take you away and put you into the bridal suite a half an hour before the wedding. So that means that you can't take photos with your photographer because they took you away and they hid you. So your one hour of photos that you thought you could do all these things now is down to a half an hour. And many venues are very strict with their rules. Many of them say you can only come on property an hour before. So if you have plans like to do getting ready shots, if you have plans to do a first look and all the other things, you can't do it in a half an hour. I just, I hate to break the news to you. So you may have to say, do getting ready shots at a hotel. Sometimes you may have to do a first look and portraits at a park or something like that. Um, some venues you can pay a fee sometimes and they'll let you come earlier. Every venue is different. But the main takeaway from this is that you have to remove a half an hour of that time that's not there because the event coordinator is going to take the bride away and hide her and you can't do photos with her. So I use that time when I'm taking pictures to do reception detail shots in the room before the guests come in. I use that time to do pre-ceremony photos of guests arriving. The, the groom is going to go to the ceremony area earlier with the Justice of the Peace, so I get pictures of that. I get pictures of the detail areas of the ceremony, ushering, and all those kinds of things. 
So this also applies when you hire a photographer. Because a lot of people say, oh, well, our wedding starts at 4, and we want coverage till 9, so that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's, you know, 5 hours, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, but couples don't realize that, okay, if you're hiring me at 4, do you want me to show up one minute before the bride starts walking down the aisle? And the answer is no. So really, you have to add another half an hour of time when hiring a photographer because it's you need them there earlier. An example, I did a wedding when I first started in the industry. I worked for a big studio, and I was shooting a wedding one day, and I got a call from the owner. I was going to shoot the wedding, and he says, oh, we let you know you have a second photographer today. I was like, well, it'd be nice if you let me know more than an hour before the wedding. So at any rate, so I am at the ceremony, and I'm waiting, and the guests are arriving, and I'm waiting, and guess what? There's no second photographer. So normally I'd be like, okay, I need to talk with them. We need to get the game plan and all these things. So basically the second photographer shows up one minute before the ceremony begins. Okay, that's not good. So when you're hiring a photographer, if your ceremony begins at a certain hour, you need to include in that coverage a half an hour before they start. And the other thing is when you're planning on the time that you have, like pre-ceremony um, time, you need to take away, subtract a half an hour for coverage of the bride and groom to do things like a first look, to do things like portraits. You have to remove one half an hour. So that is the tip of the day, is beware of the time suck. And now that you know what the time suck is, you can plan accordingly either way. So thank you for your listening. I hope you found this helpful. Good luck in your planning. And if you would like to hire me for your wedding, guess what? I'm going to do so much of that planning for you. Lay everything out. Make it all easy so you don't have to stress about it. Doesn't that sound great? So thank you. JohnMonoWeddings.com. You have a wonderful day and happy wedding planning.